service or repair the seals, begin by removing the manifold. The manifold can be removed using a 6mm Allen wrench to remove the 8 hex socket head screws. To create separation between the manifold and crankcase, rotate the crankshaft until there is a gap between the manifold and crankcase. Once separation has been made, use two flat tip screwdrivers to pry manifold away from the crankcase. While supporting the weight of the manifold, use a rubber hammer to completely remove manifold from crankcase. Place manifold on flat surface with low pressure seals facing up. Place a flat tip screwdriver under the low pressure seal and pry upward to remove. Be careful not to scratch the inner diameter surface of the seal case where the low pressure seals are located. Inspect the inside of the low pressure seal for wear or damage. Next. Remove the seal case using reverse pliers. Be sure to avoid the first step of the seal case where the low pressure seal lies. Reach to the second step and twist as you pull away from the manifold. Inspect the seal case o-rings for cuts, nicks, or damage, and also the high pressure surface of the seal case for scoring or damage. Place a flat tip screwdriver under the high pressure seal and pry upward to remove. Ensure you do not score the inside of the manifold. Inspect the inside and outside of high pressure seal for excessive wear or damage. To install new seals, begin with the high pressure seal. Before installing, apply a lubricant to the outside surface of the high pressure seal. You will notice that one side of the high pressure seal has a groove. Install with the groove side facing down and press into place. Before installing the seal case, you must first replace the o-ring included in your seal kit. Using a small screwdriver or pick, reach under the o-ring and remove from the groove, then slide off the seal case. Replace with the new o-ring included in the seal kit. Apply lubricant to the o-ring on the seal case. Install the seal case with the o-ring down into the manifold. Press into place. Next, install the low pressure seal. The low pressure seal contains a spring on one side. Install with the spring side facing down and press into place. Before reinstalling the manifold, be sure to replace the plunger retainer gasket included in the seal kit. Begin by removing the seal retainer. The seal retainer has two holes, one of which has two small tabs which are installed facing down into the slot of the crankcase. Using a 10mm wrench, loosen and remove the plunger retainer and plunger. Inspect the plunger retainer gasket. Then, inspect the ceramic plunger for cracks or scoring to the surface. Remove the keyhole washer and barrier slinger located behind the plunger. Both parts serve as a barrier to prevent water from entering the crankcase. To reassemble, install the barrier slinger with the dish side facing away from the crankcase. Next, install the keyhole washer. The slot can face in any direction. Change the plunger retainer gasket included in the seal kit. After replacing the gasket, Insert the plunger retainer into the plunger. Before reinstalling, you will notice that the plunger has a step on one side. This is the side that goes towards the pump's crankcase. Before installing the plunger assembly, apply thread sealant on the end of the plunger rod. Install plunger assembly and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Torque to specification.
Install the seal retainer with tabs facing down. Before reinstalling the manifold, rotate the crankshaft so the outside two plungers are even at the furthest distance from the crankcase. Install the manifold by hand, ensuring even alignment. Install the eight hex socket head screws. Tighten using appropriate cross pattern for even alignment using a six millimeter Allen wrench and torque to specification. 